Post at 5, Portland's drug crisis is hitting a new level. According to Portland police, 10 minors have overdosed on fentanyl in just the last three months. That's more than the last three years combined. On Fox 12's Connor McCarthy, live outside of Portland police headquarters in downtown Portland, to tell us about the most recent overdose where a 15-year-old lost her life. Well, Pete and Riel, the most recent overdose and the circumstances surrounding that overdose are still unclear at this time. The one Portland police officer says one child overdosing on fentanyl is one too many. And as this crisis grows, one Portland city commissioner says he wants to declare a public health emergency. It's a drug crisis that seems to be growing in Portland with no clear way on how to stop it. Never in my career prior to 2021-ish uh, 20, did you see open drug use as rampant as it is uh, you know, today. Portland police officer Jake Jensen oversees the Narcotics and Organized Crime Unit. He's watched this crisis unfold in real time, and now it's impacting young Portlanders. It's never easy to see a, a dead person in general, but especially a dead kid that's so much potential that's just now gone, evaporated. Uh, so it definitely takes a toll. Within the last three months, the Bureau says there were 10 overdose victims under the age of 18, seven who were five years old or younger. Five of the 10 overdose victims did not survive. The most recent death was a sophomore at Jefferson High School. This is a 12-year-old kid who's riding his bike the day before, or a five-year-old that's excited about her first day in kindergarten, and now their lives have been drastically altered or ended due to the scourge of fentanyl. Our community is in crisis, and uh, earlier this year and late last year, we were deeply concerned about meth, but this fentanyl drug is uh, leading to an incredible amount of overdoses. Portland City Commissioner Renee Gonzalez oversees Portland Fire and Rescue, another city bureau that sees the drug crisis firsthand. But we have uh, individuals that are over overdosing multiple times. They are literally dead until someone resurrects them with Narcan. He says the drug crisis is impacting firefighters' mental health due to the frequent response to overdose calls. Despite feeling like they are fighting a losing battle, Gonzalez says firefighters are still able to focus on what matters most. Their job is to save lives. They step up every single day to do it. Uh, they do the duty they've been asked to do. And um, so they're team players. Uh, they're, they are responders and embrace that uh, responsibility. But uh, it is eroding the system for sure, and that has a very human cost. This week, Oregon Governor Tina Kotick announced a new statewide fentanyl strategic enforcement and distribution strategy. Oregon State Police will help local agencies like Portland Police to enforce drug laws. Both Officer Jensen and Commissioner Gonzalez welcome the governor's help. But Gonzalez wants a public health emergency to be declared for the drug crisis. Portlanders are tired, they're fed up, and they want their city back. Well, Pete Enriel, Commissioner Gonzalez, understands that this is a complicated issue to fix, but he says normalizing hard drug use is not the answer. Now, when it comes to mental health for first responders, both viewers say that they have a list of resources for its members. Live in downtown Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12